Hey, so Tony, yeah. I got a, I got a question for you. What if you were to say that? Because you know, on Facebook, it was one of those funny things. I I heard people talking about, oh, the fifties were better than the sixties and the seventies, and which ones were better and all that stuff. What were key elements that you think like were this differentiated the fifties from the sixties and the seventies? Oh, God. Well, you know, I mean, one thing in the 50s, I think we knew everybody in town. And then that pretty well ended in the 60s. But but I think the biggest change in my mind going back in the, when the uh, city allowed condominiums to be built. Wow, okay. Yeah. And then, you know, I mean, I wrote a, a thing about it back then. Of course, you know, it never saw the light of day, but about comparing uh, condominiums to condors from California, the big birds, they were sweeping down on the <laughs> town and going to tear the whole place up, you know, and uh, <laughs> I think it was a little bit prophetic. <laughs> Did, um, what, what year was the, uh, the Concept 600, do you remember the Concept 600 when that one burned oh, yeah. down? I, yeah. I want to say that would have yeah, been like that... 72 or 73 or something. Yeah. yeah, God. It might have been, yeah, that's about right. 72 would probably be close in my mind. I, I, I remember when it was on fire. I, yeah, I was, I was, I was going home say, from we somewhere were... and walked by there and held a fire hose to those guys. <laughs> going to be save the day, you know. We were, uh, yeah, I was really young then. I think I was three or four. And uh, But my brother and I were standing there with my mom in our jammies, you know. Uh, and it was burned, oh, yeah. burned into the night. And, and uh, yeah, I remember it was pretty hot. We were pretty far away from it, too. But it was still really hot. God, yeah, it's all, of course, you know, obviously they fixed it up. And it still looks the same. Of course, yeah. you were here. You know all that. <laughs> yeah well i feel like you know it's interesting because in my time what i noticed was when they enlarged the airport seemed to be a really big factor of a that sort of the difference between even probably the 80s and the 90s was the airport made a huge influx or difference in sort of a cultural change is what it seemed like to me well, yeah, and we're getting ready to go through that again, it looks like. Yeah. Sounds like it, yeah. Roger's got a pretty awesome article on, that, on his point of view. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I posted that on Facebook today. I thought, damn, he's right on here. Yeah. I saw that, yeah. Um, do you remember, okay, I'm, I'm thinking around 95, they, they were going to expand the airport again to get bigger jets. Does that sound right? Because I'm trying to remember Hunter Thompson was kind of going crazy about it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's um, They were going to expand the airport and they wanted to get, uh, I can't remember now, the bigger jets in here. Yeah. And that's yeah. when the uh, citizenry made enough noise that the uh, FAA granted Aspen the permission to, to set a uh, curfew on landing and takeoff. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. I yeah, just, so I just know, remember I... he. I was at the paper. I was working at the paper, and he he uh, called us in the middle of when we were putting it together and said, "Stop the presses! I'm fa I'm faxing my manifesto." <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> he said something over about giant bats and ravens, or who uh, who knows what. <laughs> He was mad about the big yeah. airplanes flying over Owl Creek, you know. Yeah, 